Hello everybody, this is James and Marissa and we're here with another episode for um, Hate Noun Productions for the YouTube channel. Starting a new thing going to be called the Red Umbrella. Basically the Red Umbrella playlist will be anything food related. Anytime we do a taste test video, anytime we do like recipes, we're going to do like little cooking tutorials I guess or learn together and try a bunch of new recipes. So all those will go and be called the Red Umbrella which is just a kind of thing between the two of us that we've always, we have some paintings and stuff called the Red Umbrella and just a nice little kitchen name for our little little kitchen. Now right now we're not in the kitchen as you can see, but eventually we will start doing all these videos from the kitchen um, and you guys will get to see that. Today we have a mini video. We're wanting to do a full length taste test video, but currently we don't have funds for that per se, but we do have a few things. That we got this week that we're going to try. I myself love trying new flavors of things. I'm crazy, even if I don't think I like it. Um, there's been a couple Pepsi flavors that they've come out with, really crazy things that I did not like. A couple of them I did like. So, yeah, so we've got three things today that we're going to taste test. Um, where would you like to start? I'm kind of going to try this. It's called Every Burger. It's like, this is burger shaped chocolate biscuits, which I've never heard of this before. Either we found it at Kroger's in the mm -hmm. um, in the uh, like the ethnic food, Asian food, uh, like the like you know kind of more cultural. Like you find like the soy sauce and like the different types of noodles, the fortune cookies. You can find like the different like sodas like from around the world and stuff. So this was one of the things. Um, See this here? I wonder if it tells us where it's from. It says Bourbon at the top is the name of the company. It's got like some sort of Asian writing on it. Let's see if it says. Yeah. Manufactured by Bourbon Company or Bur Bourbon Corporation, my bad, um, in Japan. Product of Japan. So these are uh, some kind of Japanese biscuits. Um, yeah, so you guys can get a good close up of the box there. Cute little burger. She's seen that and. We decided we would try it. So, oh, it's got like a little punch up. Did you see that? I'll let you. Oh yeah, right there it is. I'll give you that. I brought milk. To be prepared. I probably should have. You can have a drink of mine if you want. Oh, look how cute. Mm -hmm. I like the plastic. Uh, okay. Oh, sure. It's, the box is empty. <laughs> <laughs> but the plastic is cute though. Got little hamburgers on it. I'm nervous, but in, oh, intrigued. Upside down. Oh, okay. Oh, well, look how cute. I smell chocolate, like, instantly. Oh, I did too. It hits you. That aroma hits you. These are so, it's so cute. cute. Look at this. It's like a little burger, and it's got little sesame seed things on top. There we go. We're going to do this. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. It's not bad. No, it's not bad. It reminds me of Pocky. The mm -hmm. taste. I was just going to say, it's like Pocky, but with, like, the buns taste like, if you've ever had Pocky, it's like little sticks with dipped in chocolate. Also found in that same aisle. They're almost like Pocky, but they're, the buns taste like the Pocky, like the cracker part. And then the middle tastes like the chocolate that Pocky's dipped in, but it's like a lot of chocolate, which mm -hmm. is good. I really like it. So, I enjoyed that. Yeah, it's just... That's a, yeah, I love that's that. That's a two thumbs up for me. All right, you want to get some more sweets or go a little more savory? Sweets. Okay, now this one, new brand of Oreo, it is kettle corn. Now, I love kettle corn. I love Oreos. I'm a bit nervous about them together, Um, but I'm curious. I'm definitely curious about it. I mean, it was new. It was at Kroger's. We also found this at Kroger's where we do a lot of shopping at. So now we're going to try some, if I can open it. Yeah. Ah, got it. Okay, very interesting. Oh, it smells like popcorn. It does. I, I'm nervous. This is weird, but there we go. Just got to really look at what it looks like in there. It's got little puppy pieces. I don't really taste the difference. It just smells like popcorn, but it tastes like vanilla, like... The only thing, which I think... 
has a lot to do with it. I'll show you the um, inside bit. The one thing that I taste different, which I actually like, and it says here, it tastes a lot puffier, if you know what I mean. Like, like almost more like that cloud effect. Like, there's like that puffiness. And it even says on the bag, with puffed millet pieces. I don't know what a millet piece is, but. It tastes good to me. It tastes like just a really fluffy Oreo. An Oreo with really fluffy feel. Yeah, I, I, like don't I don't taste the popcorn substance. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Like, the only thing popcorn related is it smells like popcorn, and it's fluffy. But not a bad thing. All right, we have one more thing to try for you guys. Um, and this, I know the bag is already open, but I have not tried it yet. I like the Kettle Brand chip, but they have bourbon barbecue. Um, I had to open it in there because these bags are impossible to get open unless you have scissors. But I really like the Kettle Brand. I usually get the jalapeno kind. I've never tried the bourbon barbecue. So I thought, well, my first time trying it, I'll just try it with you guys. I like barbecue chips. Bourbon's okay. We'll see how it tastes. It smells like beef jerky. Yeah, I get that. Oh, okay. Well, barbecue does some good. Here's a picture of the chip. Looks like a normal kettle cooked chip. Oh. Mm mm. Mm mm. Do you want my chip? Sure. <laughs> I don't. I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> That's a no for her. I'm okay with it. Like. Very strong aftertaste. I see now where you come from on that. It still tastes good to me. It tastes like if you've ever had the Lay's Hickory Hickory Barbecue or the Hickory Wavy Barbecue. It tastes like that, but a lot stronger. It tastes a little bit stronger. Um, depending on the chip you get. The chip I got, I don't think had that much dust on it, so it wasn't that bad. It just tastes like a Hickory Lay's Barbecue. But yours had a, a lot more powder on it. It, it definitely had a little bit stronger yeah, aftertaste. I, I, I'm not a big fan. I didn't really. I liked it. it. I didn't hate it. Didn't love it. Um, out of the three things, um, we got the kettle cook. We have the popcorn Oreos, and then we have the every burger snacks. Um, what would you say was your favorite? I'm going to say that every burger because, again, it tastes a lot like Pocky, and I love Pocky, and it just... That's true. Yeah. I'd probably say my favorite was probably actually the popcorn, the kettle corn Oreos. I just really like the fluffy texture of the... Because, I mean, let's face it, most people, your favorite thing about Oreos is that little middle vanilla white bit in the middle, um, and where that was just so fluffy just so, I don't know, like cloud, like eating cotton candy almost, but like it was vanilla icing and it was just, I like that. Um, that would probably be my first, every burger would probably be my second favorite, and then the bourbon barbecue would probably put third. It's not even on my list. <laughs> <laughs> not even on your list. I, I mean, I liked it. It's, it's enough up there to be on my list. I'll take it for like work lunch and stuff, but definitely probably the, the Oreos number one, every burger. And then the bourbon barbecue. Um, so I guess that's our video for today. That's our taste test. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be doing more hopefully soon. Um, get a little more money. We're going to go. We know there's quite a few things we've had our eyes on to try um, at the store that we're wanting to get. But we're just going to wait. And hopefully the next video will be a little bit longer. Um, have a few more things to kind of rank and show you guys. Um, but yeah. And that's that. So thank you guys for joining us. Uh, see ya.